Modeling of Geotechnical Problems in GeoStudio. This project is a part of the course K7006B, Development Project Construction. My name is Frida Granström and I have made this project along with Erik Johansson. Background and Purpose In order to solve complicated geotechnical problems more accurately, it is important to deepen the knowledge and understanding about geotechnical software. Knowledge about modeling software for geotechnical engineers is important in today's society, where there are higher demands on accuracy in the calculations. In addition, some problems cannot be solved with simplified hand calculation methods. And therefore, three different problems have been analyzed in GeoStudio's software package. During this project, uh, three different softwares were used. We used HempW and uh, analyzed an assignment with three different tasks. Uh, we used SlopeW where we analyzed a slope, as you can see in the picture here below. Uh, and there we used a tutorial from a pro program called Plaxis. And we also used CW to analyze an assignment with four different tasks. To learn the program TempW, an assignment from another course was given to us. The aim with the assignment was to perform frost depth calculations with the help of TempW. And the assignment was divided into three different tasks. Uh, the whole assignment will now be explained more in more detail. The first task was to perform an analysis without the foundation for the given location, which was Kiruna. The temperature conditions at the surface boundary were first taken as the mean annual temperatures and we ran a steady state analysis for these initial conditions. Then we ran a transient analysis for the duration of the freezing period, which was 180 days. And as we can see, the frost depth after 90 days was approximately 1.8 meters, and then for 180 days, the frost depth penetrated down to 2.4 meters. In the second task, we repeated the analysis of the first task by assuming a groundwater table located at the surface. As we can see, the result does not change. The frost depth is still 1.8 meters after 90 days and 2.4 meters after 180 days. In the third task, we generated the model geometry with the foundation and no groundwater table at the surface. Then we performed the same calculations as in the previous tasks. As we can see, the maximum frost depth after 90 days was approximately 3 meters, and after 180 days it was 3.5 meters. The frost depth penetrates deeper under the foundation, which can be explained by the higher thermal conductivity in the steel and concrete than in the soil. Conclusions The different software packages of use is suitable to use when calculating your technical problems. Mm. TempW is favorable to use, especially in the northern parts of Sweden, due to the big difference in temperature. SlopeW is a well-tried program and can be used when solving common geotechnical problems. We will definitely use this software again. Thank you for listening.